This to me this. Title Z- The Zombie is a Terrorist. I mean, is that how you say a terrorist? This zombie is a terrorist, yes. Terrorist. I mean, like, you also have to have some fear, right? When you, when you say the word terrorist, it's like such a terror word. Mm, no, for me. Just like, oh, you're a terrorist? Cool. <laughs> kind of like. <laughs> Unaffected. <laughs> oh, what do you do for a living? Oh, you're a terrorist? Yeah, cool. You like Starbucks? Yeah, that's great. I mean, um, if you uh, like give such a reaction, the poor guy he is disappointed, you know. Yeah, and then he's like, like he the was expecting self, fear, and okay, and all he get, all he's getting is like a Starbucks invite. I know, right? <laughs> I mean, that probably, yeah, yeah, they were not expecting it. They were like the for freedom, yay! <laughs> that kind of, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I can probably yeah. just dis like you know convince them to quit their job because they are so bad at it. <laughs> okay, but like actual terrorists are com- competent in their job. Okay, otherwise, mm. yeah, otherwise world will be peace, peaceful. That's true. All right, so this is my yeah. version of it. It's only four hundred and fifty words. Yours is what five hundred ish. Yes. Okay. Fine. Mine is uh, mine is longer. It has a lot more lore. I added like hundred chapters worth of content in that hundred extra minutes. <sighs> Less is more. <laughs> okay. Uh, concept: Terrorist dies and gets resurrect- resurrected as a zombie. His aim now is to kill humans and spread his new religion, zombieism. Okay. Character: Ali. Uh, plot outline. Okay, how do you pronounce Ali? Hmm? How Ali. do you pronounce Ali? Ali, just Ali. Ali, Ali. That's all right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, plot outline. Zombie awakens to hear the true voice of God, Zombie God, who tells him to spread the new religion of zombieism as the prophet. Draft. Mm. Okay. Ali. Mm, five more minutes, mom. He is cold, louder this time, and despite the sleepiness, Ali could not shrug the nagging feeling that something was wrong. Did his mom have such a husky voice, Ali? Okay, that was not husky. Okay. Good, good. <laughs> good, good. It's good enough. Snapping awake, the first thing Ali noticed was the taste of gravel in his mouth and the stench of rubbish surrounding him. What the? Yes, this was exactly what he remembered before his memory blanked out. He failed his mission. The group must no longer want him back. All his life he lived for God and now there was nowhere to go. Ali! What? He yelled but there was nobody around. Spooked, the young terrorist blinked. Was that all his imagination? I'm here. Following the voice, Ali walked over to a dirty puddle of coffee. Surely not. However, the face of someone, something green and grotesque appeared and Ali knew at once that this was not his imagination. He was poor at imagining. Who are you? He asked. The distorted figure in the split coffee puddle, spilled coffee puddle kicked his nose with a finger and snorted. I'm your god. You died and we decided to make you my prophet because the other guy was too lazy. You look smarter. God? Allah, is that really you? Offended, the green figure bonked Ali using psychic powers to prove his existence. Do I look like Allah to you? No, I'm the zombie god. You're now my prophet and it is your zo- it is your job to spread zombieism. Just do the things you've been doing so far and you're good. I need you to convert 10 humans into zombies before dinner or I'm going to make you study math. Okay, now, why is studying math a torture? Because I hate math. <laughs> I cannot math. I was like, $2 million missing okay. from the balance sheet. Okay, yeah. that's not my money anyway. <laughs> that's why I cannot be an accountant. <laughs> For me, whenever I want to relax, I read math. I, I do math. Oh, you're a different kind of human. <laughs> Classic Indian. <laughs> no, 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 like most Indians are like this. So, yeah. No, no, Ali cried. Math was his worst subject. However, he was happy. Even, in, even if this was not Allah, 
he was still not abandoned by god in fact he was happy to get promoted to a prophet that's right he was supposed to kill the sunbathing ladies at the beach in allah's name however his flammable suntan liquid failed to kill anyone instead he got jumped by some purple chick with an orange boyfriend in the alley who sold his comfort drink from starbucks that zombieism was a personal religion that can only be spread using physical contact of some kind you must spread the religion through human contact such as farts coughs blood or saliva the zombie god shared and disappeared soon after leaving ali to choose his first 10 victims i hope this works he groaned and started swallowing air it might be uncomfortable to hold farts but if he could get destiny ig is blocking the words oh really cool. i thought you say you are uh, yeah. reading but, it yeah <laughs> No, no, no. <laughs> but, but if he could get onto a crowded train before releasing him, he might be able to finish work on time today. I can do this. Okay. <laughs> First of all, I have a question. Yes. He can do it through farts, coughs, blood, or saliva, right? Mm-hmm. So, is there any hierarchy between those converted to using farts, using blood, using saliva, and coughs? I didn't think that far, but like, I was about to write something yeah, worse, yeah. and then I was like, "No, this has to be PG thirteen," so I didn't write it. Uh, I not uh, not exactly uh, in that sense. What I'm asking is, if suppose someone converted using fart is like a level one zombie, so is someone converted using blood like a level uh, two zombie or something like an upper uh, upper zombie or a pre zombie something like that? I mean. Technically, it's possible, but this is a word prom, so I didn't think that far. I just wrote. And I was just like, yeah. Uh, also, it star now, ducks. Now I'm considering from all, all, all subjects. Yeah, no, you cannot. Ah, star ducks. Okay, not bugs. Yo, I purposely changed it. It's like initially it was white chick and black boyfriend. I was like, that's so racist. So purple chick and orange boyfriend. I mean, why? Like you're being racist to white, white and black. You see. Yeah, and I <laughs> so I kind of like I told you this was gonna sound racist to some people, and I was like, okay, maybe I won't. No, no, no. Oh, sorry, sorry. Okay, okay. Uh, that was my bad. It it's not racist. You're being colorist. Maybe so. <laughs> now it's purple and orange. Yeah. You're you're giving preference to purple and orange. What about magenta? What about green? What about yellow? You're discriminating them. I mean, it has to be either one, all right? It's, it's no, like... next time, next time you should write. It was like a Vibjar chick and Vibjar boyfriend. Include all colors. Why? <laughs> But yeah, so this is this is it. Also, you have praise from DHE. DHE was like, you sound good, especially with the the God's voice. You're voicing the God. Ah, like Ali. <laughs> Uh, streams I'm doing with you, the less awkward I'm getting. If this is good, it's improvement. <laughs> yeah, I still don't understand. Good. I'm finally growing up. Yeah. Oh, like I don't understand why you have to watch your own live stream replays after the stream ends, and you are like the oh, I said so many like, like, like. I'm like, mm. yeah. When I see them, I I cringe. I mean, see, even now I'm like purposefully controlling myself. That's why I'm talking slower at times. No wonder you're a little bit. <laughs> Otherwise, the filler words start to fill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, just be yourself. Like I didn't bring you here to be a professional broadcaster. You're like the today's news on Channel Five. No, you're not doing that kind of thing, <laughs> right? Actually, when I was in my school days, uh, I used to be a host for many programs. <laughs> But was it after English? that? It has been like, yeah, in English. Yeah, my English was actually. Way better, way like ten, twenty times better than what I'm doing. <laughs> This is because of like six years of no use of the language. Oh gosh. Okay. Well, <laughs> you have practice six. now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to read through yours. Uh, seriously, Itsuji though. <sighs> okay. Yes. Right. So. Itsuji is a masterpiece name that I came up with. I, I I spent like three weeks to come up with that name. No, you did not. Hard. No, you did not. Yeah, <laughs> I, I spent the time. I know it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. By the way, this is going up, and I yeah. I want to like add a disclaimer when I upload in nuggets. Like this has no relation to any real life person, and anything is just coincidental. You know, like the disclaimer. Yeah. 
No IHGs were harmed in the making of this. <laughs> My my brain cells probably died. Okay, but sure. Okay, let's start. Alright, so I will start from the draft part because I went through the above. Alright, so Kia, a sheep woman, fell off from the Ferris wheel, dangling like a pendulum, as part of her dress tore off and acted as a rope, with one end of it getting stuck to the wheel. As the Ferris wheel continued to move, so did she. The echoes of her shouts presented a wavy tune to the audience. Ah, damn it! I was betting on Princess Sheeplace to survive this round. A middle-aged man from the sheep race smacked his lips in regret, crumpling the betting ticket in his hand. Princess Sheeplace, Sheep, Sheeplace, was typed up to a great extent, making it seem as if she had the chance to win the great. I want the, I want, I want, huh? I want the bride. Normally, it's I want to be a bride. No, <laughs> I want a bride tournament. Yeah. <laughs> and became wife to the vampire overlord, the strongest vampire to exist in history, and one whose reign encompassed more than half the world. My wife to be should be someone capable of rising up to all challenges and exceeding expectations time and again. Only she is worthy to be my better half. No punctuation. Okay, six months ago, the vampire overlord's announcement spread through around the world, shocking all reigning powers. To date, the vampire overlord was single. Therefore, it meant that his wife would come to exude the same level of authority as him, considering how he vowed to increase their powers to be on par with him as his dignity required. This was the ticket to the top of the world for any ambitious woman. Any ambitious woman should be single, but okay. Man. Mm. Yes. Okay, and since the vampire overlord didn't specify the race, it was a free game for all women from the from the world, from around the world. The day of announcement was also the 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 blah. Uh, the day of announcement was also the day when the greatest number of divorces happened. After all, the vampire overlord truly didn't discriminate anyone on the base of age, race, etc. Er, could be better word about okay. So yeah, yeah, I I couldn't like uh, there was limited time and I couldn't think of it. Less is more. <laughs> less is more. Okay, so they only had to be woman, and you know you say that he he doesn't discriminate anyone. Then they only had to be a woman. Hmm. No, he doesn't discriminate on basis of age, race, and etc. Okay, but gender. There is no, there is, there is no gender in that etc. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay, can. <laughs> and so they only had to be a woman because he's a gender based test. <laughs> to become lady overlord, <laughs> more than half lord. Okay, can is a very straight vampire. Right, there were only 100 tests to pass on there were oh there were around 100 tests to pass before the finals could be conducted currently it was just the 15 test where one where the candidates had to stand on the frame of the ferris wheel with one foot for an hour while making a portrait of the vampire overlord while narcissistic okay obviously the overly high princess she plays failed oh man on this test getting more and more ridiculous a man from the frog race muttered <laughs> i passed it no sweat a lady from the frog race smirked smartly it wasn't that difficult in the first place. You needn't act Im important. A lady from the snake race snorted in disdain. Snake fart! The, lock lady, uh, the, the frog lady mocked. Toad stench! The snake lady vomited. Who will be our next contestant? The MC announced aloud before staring at the list, for a moment blinking in confusion, wondering if he had read it wrongly. The next one on the list is a uh, human granny? How rude! I'm a maiden in her young 70s! The grapes Itsuji puffed her cheeks, curling her sleeves as she sauntered into the massive colosseum, approaching the foot of the ferris wheel as she winked at the others. Caution notice, keep your hearts in check. I received way too many of them. Yeah, that kind of random, but okay, it's like... <laughs> We're both on drugs today, it's okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like where this is going actually. Wow, but the end, <laughs> but the end of five hundred subs. I wonder how we will be. Like, are we still in tag? You know, <laughs> probably <Yeah>. not. <laughs> probably not. Join us. This is actually good. Okay, yeah. This I, is see, uh, when you were uh, reading their names, it felt a lot proper nameish. Like D grapes each <laughs> gene felt like a normal name. Perfect for this setting. I know, right? Because you like sheep lays and frog and stench yeah. and. <laughs> I like this kind of vibes. Yes, yes, this is the kind of things that we need. Like, let go, be free, you know, do all these kind of things. Like, the, mm, don't limit yourself to whatever that you normally limit yeah. yourself to when you do books. This is the beauty of writing prom challenge. I like it. This is like really good. Oh, please don't sheep. No, no granny X vampire. No, no sheep. DHE is shipping in chat. You see what you did? 
Granny in Trapped, yeah. I mean, like, for, for being being a gentleman such as me, I do ship the Granny with the vampire. I don't. <laughs> Especially not when there's semblance with Aitsuji. <laughs> I hate you. But yes, this is overall a good writing from. Okay, if anybody actually wants to adopt any of these ideas, I guess you gotta like make a little bit of maybe more changes with it because neither of us are very sane. Right? For mine, uh, the zombie one, you could probably get smacked with uh, colorism. And then for this one, you can get smacked with, uh, you know, underage though. Actually, no, it's not really underage because vampire, you see, they're like long. But it's, it's kind of a little bit disturbing. Like the age gap kind of romance is kind of disturbing. You can get smacked with that. You can get smacked with colorist. <laughs> so, at your own risk, feel free to adopt. At I your mean, own like, risk. Uh, uh, I mean, in most of these stories, uh, though the reader base that reads vampire and werewolf for them, age is just a number. Yeah. Because in in those stories, it's probably the vampire has lived for like multiple centuries, and they're hitting on like a thirteen year old girl. <laughs> so, yeah. I hate that. They so probably much. they they probably try to hit on her grandmother, who by mistake died in an accident. So they were waiting for her to be born. <gasps> that sounds so creepy. Something this thing happened in Violet also. He the the werewolf guy went and marked a human baby. Yeah, that was the, uh, oh main character. my god, Twilight. That was yeah. so freaking. So yeah, these stories do have that. So for them, age is just a number. Oh my god. Okay, so replying to DHC, yes, this is on crack. So we are on crack when we wrote this. And this is the essence of writing prompts, really. It, it's not serious. It's something fun. It's something to push your limits as a writer to see how far you can get with the creativity. Yeah, so just abandon all. Just enjoy 15 minutes though. But after that, please come back to Earth. Otherwise, you might get arrested for being too crazy or something. Alright, I am not responsible for that. <laughs>